Hello everybody, just a quick intro, just a quick video on what we can offer you also within, within lessons, okay. We also cover business English and we've, we've already done tourandtaking.com which we were very successful with, with uh, putting it all together from scratch and selling it to an ongoing uh, Australian tour company, www.tourandtakein.com. It still, it still has a lot of my information, my articles on this, because I don't know what the, the tour company is doing, but they've not changed it a great deal from when I had it. Okay, so please have a look, www.tourandtaking.com. Now, on the business side of things, business consultation, business lesson plans I can offer you, okay, do you need, do you need to take your e-commerce site to another level? Maybe, maybe on business you want to fulfill an, an e-commerce site. Well, we can cover articles on what ex exactly is an e-commerce site. How does e-commerce work? How much does it cost to start an online store, a blog, a website? The most popular e-commerce business models are business to business, B2B, business to customer, which is B2C, and customer to customer, C2C. Also, we can develop websites using WordPress platform, using the WordPress platform, which allows us to create, to create articles at store destination that will be seen and heard of in Google indexing. Remember, Google's a major search engine now. And they're all indexed using algorithms, okay? We, we can successfully SEO them for you as well. So what is an e-commerce platform? Well, there's different types of e-commerce website. You could have a drop shipping service based e-commerce. You could have a physical product, a physical product based e-commerce. Or you could have a digital product based e-commerce. So there's the three major e-commerce websites. How do we start? How do we start an e-commerce business from scratch? Number one, find your niche and research su successful businesses. Two, get clear on the type of business you want. Three, inform, inform yourself about the legal requirements and permits you might need. Okay. Don't get caught out. Four, get clear with the business plan, with your business plan. Every business should have a business plan in motion. Five, pick an e-commerce platform. Okay. Six, build your online storefront. Seven, showcase your products. Eight, learn e-commerce marketing. And nine, measure business performance. We've got to measure our business performance. So what makes an e-commerce business successful? A website or a blog. It's got to be, it's got to be a user-friendly website. Nobody likes going on a website and it's difficult to navigate. Nobody likes that. Make it user-friendly. So that's number one. Two. Going back to the niche products, sell great products at a competitive pricing. Four, give. And what's been lacking, I believe, in the business sector at the moment is stellar, stellar customer service. Businesses at the moment like to blame everybody else but themselves. Since the pandemic, I've seen a, a, a big rise in this. It's not my fault it was a pandemic. It was a virus. It was the war. It was climate change. <laughs> Come on. It's your business. Give customer service. Remember, customer service gives you repeat business. Good customer service will give you repeat business.
and solid marketing okay solid marketing now we can cover all those well i can cover most of those online with lesson plans okay so if you're interested please contact me okay and we can have a free online chat get to know each other a meet and greet okay a meet and greet and then we can work a plan out okay so take care it can be done it can be done look at amazon wow take care for now have a great sunday bye bye bye, bye, -bye.